I don't know. Maybe the aliens were intercepting. No, <laughs> <laughs> I needed a laugh today. It was the, it was that or the reptilians. The re- oh, yes. That's a good one. Okay. Oh, dude! Since I've met you, there has been so much bizarre shit that's been happening. You would oh, not that's believe just it. Bennett. I'm just kidding. That's why. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. Gee, I thought it was I thought it was my dysfunctional uncle, Sam. Uh, yeah, well, that's the, that's the truth. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> I mean, you, you know my uncle. He's pretty fucked up. <laughs> totally the worst. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's he's not even the man from Uncle. He's just Uncle Sam. Yeah. I am. I am Uncle Sam. I get what I want because I am. Oh my god. And he doesn't even eat the green eggs and ham. <laughs> <laughs> no, he serves them to the troops. <laughs> yeah. oh, Here you you guys eat this powdered shit. <laughs> so what what bizarre stuff has been going on? <laughs> you really want this on an open phone circuit? Why not? Sure. I know how why they're already watching it. <laughs> uh you've heard about the killer on the beach, right? No, what do you mean? I have it. I really have it. Uh, oh, yeah. There's somebody who has been randomly going through L.A. County. Uh, as of Saturday, it was a 72-hour spree. I don't know that it stopped. Oh, shit. Um, okay. Fifteen people had their heads caved in beyond recognition uh, yeah. to a puddle, and there was a body with a neck sticking out of it. Oh, my God. And uh, it started down on Skid Row, <clears throat> and as of Saturday night, and I even taped LAPD while I was getting an interview with them. It's on the Internet. You can Google this. Uh, I think I labeled it serial killer. Um, but he, okay, yeah, I just saw that, but I didn't get a chance to look at it yet. Yeah, and, and, uh, and he has killed over 15 people. He killed 15 people as of Saturday night. They have three different... Three different descriptions, and it's from Skid Row all the way out to Santa Monica Beach. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Yo. Are you still in Venice? Oh, yeah. Get the fuck out of there. No. Well, you know, it's funny. I have an invitation to go stay somewhere else in the city uh, yeah. in a private place, and I also have an invitation to go with the CIA and duck away into a hotel room. I've had offers. Ah. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then, like after that... I go sit down in Muscle Beach, wondering where you were yesterday, and mm-hmm. somebody rolls up on me and identifies that they're in the real Jason Bourne project. Mm-hmm. And while we're talking, another person rolls up and identifies as the same and starts interacting with us. And I know the one who's in the Bourne project's brother is in the CIA. Oh, this gets really weird. Then a third person rolls up, and all of a sudden there's like four of us talking about the Jason Bourne project. And how collectively the people meeting agree that the whole project's really fucked, and and we've all decided not to go with the plan. Ah, oh, very cool. I always like when people go rogue. <laughs> yeah, so we're kind of rogue. But then one of them admits that he's the person who morphed all three identities because where the police are baffled with the killer is that they have it's a black with dreads, they have it's a Mexican, and they have it's a white male. Oh. And they have video and they have video of this. Oh yeah. Okay. Now this is either like Jack the Ripper, which was a cult of several people with a planned yeah. hit, or the guy I talked to knows something about morphing identities. Yeah. yeah. Which is of reptilian type skills. Yeah, definitely. Mm. And based on everything he disclosed, he said it was a assigned hit through the CIA. The last one he was doing, and he had 15 people he had to take out were targets here in Los oh. Angeles, and the spree is done. I don't know if there's been any more since the 15. I haven't been tracking the news on it. Yeah, I haven't either. I just found it bizarre that less than 12 hours after I published a story about it, a guy walks up and says he's the guy doing it. Yeah. So I put up a video that disclosed the date and time and where I was at and said, you know, hey, you and an intelligence who are monitoring this channel, you should go pull the video from this location and look at it 
and run it through the system and see what you come up with. But, you know, I'm not going to run down the hall and say, hey, LAPD, I got a lead for you. I met with a guy who says he's morphing all three identities, and he's the one who did it. I just think that might get me a trip to UCLA. <laughs> that might get me, you know, the trip to the funny farm. And I've done that one enough times when I've told them certain <laughs> things that were true. I'm not going to risk it again. Well, Fuck no. no. <laughs> yes, I'm just going to, I just put it out there. It's already been publicly posted. I can't be held for withholding evidence. I made it public, you assholes. I didn't have time to run down the street when you don't answer my phone calls when I need you anyway, you cunts. Exactly. Oh, my God. Hey, so anyway, what did you think of the idea that was suggested? Um, about the party? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I already have plans tonight. I understand. I got that message, but the concept. Yeah. It was more concept. Um, the Elton John thing? Mm, well, that's a different than the other message I left you. <laughs> I'm talking about I, the voice message I left you. Yeah, the voice? No. Um, all, all you said was it was going to be a party with a few people at a hotel. Right. Um, that's, that's all I got. Yeah, and that's, that's and that's all I left. And oh, okay. yeah. so somebody I know wants to get a hotel room and get a couple of people and just hang out and party and chat. Yeah, I mean that concept's cool. That concept's always a good time. Uh, that um, that would be here on the beach at Venice. So. Uh, yeah, that's cool too. That's cool so too. they were talking like one of the hotels on the beach. So um, when would be good for your schedule, darling? I don't know. I mean, I the only other thing I was going to say was if you do find yourself in San Diego, definitely we could do that there. Or um, I'm going to have to come back to L.A. for the full moon, and I'll be free for a night or two after the full moon. So we're talking about like three or four weeks? No, like um, I think it's the 20... 28th or the 29th darling the full moon is out. the full moon was last night and tonight I know that's what I freaking thought too but um, I, yeah, I, I, I saw it it was full <laughs> yeah, it, looked, it sure looks full to me too so that's I don't what know what saying. other full moon is coming in like 7 days yeah, I mean, it might possibly be within the next day or two which is fine that just means I'm going to be coming back at the end of the week then definitely so, so by next weekend? Yeah, yeah. So is Friday, Saturday good to plan this for? Um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday should work, yeah. So what if we did yeah. it Friday and okay. then if all went well, maybe Saturday, Sunday we go to Malibu? Yeah, that, that could be a possibility. Very cool, very cool. Do like a Point Dune weekend. No, no. All right, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, yeah, let's see Friday, but I don't know if I'll be free all weekend because I am, I do have to do, the whole reason I'm coming down is to meet with a client after a ritual for the full moon and kind of like took face with them and then I have a few other people that I need to meet up with for a few products and things, but yeah, I'm sure we could definitely do something at night and then see where it goes from there. Well, and, and, um... I have several projects that I'd like to talk to you about to see if they work with your sphere. Awesome. I always love talking business. Your <laughs> sphere. But they're rather large-scale projects. Um, kind of a global thing. It's even better. I love that. And, I and, and, try my best for the collective. <laughs> and, then I, and then I also want to profess my undying love for you because if I don't <laughs> and I die before I get to say this then I would never forgive myself for an eternity I just love you to pieces I love your energy your aura oh, and well then I'm glad you got to get that off your chest <laughs> well it was so heavy it was like becoming like a 44 double D <laughs> it was just a heavy load to carry. Ooh, baby. Yeah, yeah, that makes the shoulders heavy. Yeah, yeah I was yeah. feeling like Dolly Parton. I was going to need, you know, mammary gland uh, special, you know, massage therapy, back therapy, all kinds of stuff. Rehabilitation. We don't, we don't want to hurt you. Yeah, dude looks like a lady, not. <laughs> He's got it. He's got it. I hope it's not that kind of party. No. Well, actually, my sister won't be there, thank God. And if you ever meet her, do me a favor. Take a steak knife, drive it through her heart, send her right to hell. 
She's a wicked witch of the East. According to the, she's a genius, but she's a devious, devious, ugly person. Um, and I, and she knows how I feel about her. I mean, there's no hidden agenda between us. We both oh. would like to bury each other for an eternity. Um, <laughs> she's Satan's spawn, and and I'm not. Uh, <laughs> She yeah. has told the world that I have been a CIA um, project since birth, um, and she may be correct That's about rough. that. Pardon? That's rough, man. What a sister. Yeah, well, you know, when when your sister's the Wicked Witch of the East, what can you expect? <laughs> True that, true that. I'm the, I'm the not-so-wicked witch of the West, so that's a good thing. <laughs> really? I thought you were the fairy princess of the West. Ah, uh, that's a better one. No, yeah. it's funny though, that's literally my slogan is the not so wicked witch of the West. <laughs> the not so wicked. Unless and it should have like a sub caption. Unless you unless. unless you piss me or unless dot 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 unless you piss me off. Unless you're a Gemini. No, I'm just kidding. Ow! 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 Shot through the heart and you're to blame. Hold it. Exactly. Hey, hey, don't blame me because of some other douchebag. Hey, there's a lot of this douchebag donuts. I'm just saying what the facts are. Okay? Right, but when you Google me, at least I come up with everything I've told you thus far, have I not? That is true, actually. I'm surprised. I'm impressed with that. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people talk big bullshit, and you find out they're full of it. And yeah, then there are I those do. of us who just wander up to you on the street a little understated, looking like a lost orphan, and then they rock the world. That's my favorite. Yeah, I'd rather be understated and be a motherfucker if you piss me off and tell you from the beginning, I'm not someone you should fuck with. I'll help you out. I'll take a bullet for you. Unless you lie to me, then you'll die. Right? You know, how straight up is that? That's pretty good. Don't give me bad drugs. I don't like bad drugs. If you do, (laughs) if they don't kill me, I'll kill you. You know, that's pretty straight up. Yeah. And hey, like you must. When's your birthday then? Are you closer to the tourist side of things? No, I'm stuck in the middle. I'm like Steeler's wheels. Wow. Clowns wow. to the left of me, jokers to the right. Here I am. May thirty. Wow. May thirty first. Okay. Okay. And John yeah. F. Kennedy's was May thirtieth. How ironic! My yeah. cousins was one day apart, and I think. Someone told me he and Gandhi. I don't know about Gandhi. I, that Kennedy was a triple Gemini also. Wow. Ask not what your country can do for you. Hey, we should we should change that. Ask not what the world can do for you. What the hell can you do for the world? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, Fuck mm-hmm. your country. Aliens come from other planets, not from different parts of third world countries. Exactly. Get your exactly. aliens straight. And there is such a thing as reptilians, in case they forgot to tell you at school, boys and girls. I know they like to keep you in the dark because you're all sheeple, just like mushrooms. Speaking of which, I know a good source for mushrooms. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Segway. Segway. I have like liquid psilocybin connection too right now in San Diego that's pretty intense <laughs> I would love if you could bring some of that back yeah I'll and I found you. somebody who can get me um uh has gotten me and will get me or I'll kill them no I'm kidding um some oh. grateful dead here's a fact oh I love dead acid I, love I dead said acid. nothing about acid <laughs> I just said dead, but it's interesting how it was segueing. Do you know what day Timothy Leary died? No, I don't. He died on my birthday, and I was at his funeral, so I would never forget his birthday, and we all did LSD as he died. You, you were at Timothy Leary's funeral? I knew Timothy Leary. I you was in the... T- might know my mom. I knew... <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, yeah. Ask her if she remembers Kurt Kelly from the Timothy Leary UCLA CIA White House uh, microdosing program that yeah. had in Gary Busey oh, and yeah. Robert Downey yeah. Jr. and myself and CIA. What was your mom CIA? No, but she was part of that project. What? What's your mom's yeah. name? Debbie Bell. Oh my God, I do believe I know her. What oh, years was she in it? What years? I was in it '85 through like. You know, God. when Timothy I have died. No idea. I think maybe I'm gonna say '84 through '89 could have been that. Around oh, that then time. I definitely met her. I mean, there were, there were several of us in that project. Yeah, yeah, she's a, a, a massive. But. 
Yes, uh, we all cool. we all <laughs> learn the song. I am the morning DJ at WLS. <laughs> <laughs> that's so fucking awesome. That's so wow, cool. yeah, that would yeah. be freaky if I if I really met your I mom. Know. And- even more freaky is we should do it and we should bring acid and say, Hey mom, we have a little we have a little flashback moment for you. Oh she she would be like, Okay, good. Like as long as you have one for me. <laughs> well yeah, yeah, yeah. And by the way, I don't know if you remember me, but we've done this before, baby. I bet we have. I bet we have. <laughs> oh my god, that would freak her out, don't you think? Right. <laughs> Why are you talking to me that way? Honestly, if she doesn't recognize you right away, it would, it would, it would blow my mind if she doesn't. <laughs> yes, I, I have been told, I don't know, I've never had to meet me personally, <laughs> except in a mirror. But I've been told when people meet me, I leave an indelible impression. Is that true? Indelible. I actually, that's a word I don't know, but. Indelible, like it'll never go away. It's there. It's oh, now in your goodness. DNA. Definitely got a good impression and definitely lasting, lasting impression. Well, then I guess they're right. See, I, I've yeah. never, I've never had to meet me on those terms, but um, <laughs> it doesn't matter if there is ten thousand people in a room and I'm not even a public speaker. It's hard to know I wasn't in the room because right. I try to shake every single hand there. Ah, I like that. That's a good one. Yeah, I want to know every person in the room. And if I don't, I got to know people who know the people in the room to make sure the room's safe for me to be in because if right. it's not, I shouldn't be there in the first place. There you go. That's true. That's smart. Yeah, I don't like me- meeting that hidden agent in the crowd that happens to have an agenda looking for me. Mm-hmm. I've had yeah. enough of those. It's bad enough when your family and business partners of years... Yeah, Start getting okay. calls from people saying, hi, we're with the Secret Service or yeah. we're with the State Department. And we're looking for uh, you know who. Um, and yeah. that's been happening a lot in the last five years to the point they're alarmed. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. and my answer has been the same to them. Think about it. As public as I am and as many videos and shit as I put up, how is it possible they can't find me if they really are who they say they are? Give me a fucking break. Anybody in, in, in government who's worth a yeah. shit has a goddamn good idea how to talk to Uncle Kurt. They know my numbers, they're published, they're on the internet, and I'm pretty public. Thank you. Anyhow, so you're in San Diego through Friday? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Well, I mean, Thursday, Thursday, I may have an appointment, I'm not sure yet. Oh yeah, right, right, I'll definitely do that. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's part of me that wants to run down there and see you, um, but I don't know what your your situation is there, so I wouldn't want to just show up and go, "Hi, this is awkward." <laughs> yeah, I um, I work the Ocean Beach Market on Wednesdays down there, and I'm right now just in transition of moving into a room in a house right now that I'm sharing with somebody. So that's a kind of um, awkward. Hi, I'm moving in, and I brought, I brought, you know, yeah, I'm the Pied Piper. I brought a tribe with me. Well, the I'm reason not I would on guest, um, guest terms yet, but yeah. I'm working my way up there. Well, I, and believe me, I I know how to survive. Where I've been in San Diego, um, doing rogue missions many times, so I know that city really well. In fact, I worked there for a while. Oh. Um, before and after my prison sentences in. <laughs> Tijuana. Uh, oh, I had three life sentences in foreign prisons. It was fun. Not. Because you never know when you're in for life if you're going to do your yeah. life there or not. Okay. Fortunately, my longest life sentence uh, internationally has only lasted five days. Domestically, it's lasted a month. <laughs> that's, that's pretty scary, though. Oh, yeah. Because you never know when you're sentenced for life. Are they serious this time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why I always carry tons of intel so I can be making calls from foreign prisons whenever I need to. Good on you. I do. That's how I got out. I had phones. None of the other jackasses were smart enough to palm some phones up their pockets or whatever. <laughs> you know, Mama didn't raise dumb kids. If you know how to get into this shit, you better know how to get the fuck out of it. Well, you die that's there. True. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So what I was going to say is, um, I can find a way to survive down there if you're open to the company. Somebody gifted me like a pound of weed we could help move. 
Mm. Ah, well, or we could, or we could just smoke it. Or that. <laughs> <laughs> there are choices here, or we could exchange it for other things we like. Yeah, it's always gift or exchange. No. <laughs> so I just thought I'd plant that seed and see how that ruminated with you. Yeah, that's why I threw it out there too. I mean, I like I said though, I am definitely in the middle of moving and I do have the market, and so I, I am gonna be having a quick turnaround. I might be pretty jam packed, but uh, it's a possibility. Yeah. You well, know, if I were to, to, how are you getting back up? Are you training up, um, riding up? How are you getting up? Oh, uh, driving. Yeah, oh. I have a car. So if I get down there, I could just ride back? Yeah. Yeah, I don't right. why not. Well, I probably, it's not going to be tonight, that I assure you. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going tonight either. <laughs> oh, where are you now? Um, I'm not my plant tonight. Oh, and you got the party tonight? Yeah. Oh, maybe I should sneak in and see Mom. No, I'm kidding. Right. So I'm, you're like, hey, oh, I know you from somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Could you send Dad away for a while? We have no. to get reacquainted. <laughs> Um, okay, so um, you're going down when? Tomorrow? Um, yeah, tomorrow or late tomorrow night, yeah. Well, when you decide, why don't you let me know? You're down in Downey? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Hell, it might be easier for me to get down and meet you somewhere in Downey and just ride down with you. If that's I it. would offer that, but I have all my stuff because I'm moving in my car. Not room for more bodies. I have 10 dead bodies yeah. I'm taking down to bury in Tijuana now. Okay, fine. <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing. <laughs> oh, by the way, I got to find this one born guy for you to meet again, the morphing guy, because he also says he has video <laughs> on tracking people, bringing people into the U.S. from Mexico and showed the cartel and they tried to kill him, but they couldn't really kill him because he hadn't done anything. All he's done is track them and has pictures of them everywhere. Their key stop and post points where they're bringing people in. Wow. Yeah, I thought that was fascinating. I'd like to see that footage. Yeah, definitely find him. <laughs> yeah, well, and he's also the guy that morphs maybe since he... I don't know that I want to see the videos of the 15 hits, if that's true. Yeah. I think I'll pass on that video. I've no, lived you. through enough weird videos like that one in real life. I don't oh, need man. to relive that. No. <laughs> uh, well, shoot. Yeah. Let's hope you that. You stay alive till tomorrow, and I'll definitely I'll give you a shout out when well, I, I'm, I'm heading out. I am so <laughs> glad we finally got a moment to speak. I have been Me missing too. hearing your lovely voice and oh, and letting you. you know how blessed I felt to meet you. It, it was. Oh. I do mean that sincerely. I just I Me felt too. like I touched the hand of an angel. Oh, well. Or a goddess. I, Maybe it's a goddess. Right, Pardon? Right, there you go. It's a, go it's a mer magical mermaid goddess. Ah, <laughs> uh, I was touched by your tail. Uh, yes. Oh, uh, you fin me. <laughs> you fin me. I did. I oh, fin you. <laughs> man. I've been touched by a mermaid. Ask yeah. any mermaid. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Okay. Right. Yeah. That could be a curse or a blessing, though. You never know. <laughs> well, I've got my sister as a curse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got that one. Check. No. yeah, check that off on the bucket list. I've got Uncle Sam as a curse. Oh, there's another one. Oh my God. <laughs> Now, I've, I've had my share of curses. Now I need some blessings. Um, if you listen to, to Aerosmith. I do sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Next time you hear the songs these particular ones I want you to think of my life um, dream on that's okay. that's okay. for sure like an anthem dream on till the dream yeah. comes true but also living on the edge uh -huh. if you can judge a wise man by the color of his skin you're a better man than I um, uh -huh. there's a hole in my soul oh. amazing okay do these make any sense Oh, yeah. They're singing pretty true to me. Okay. So far, it's, okay. a good, it's a good picture. All right. <laughs> I just wanted to paint a visual. And, uh, so. and and the new Elton John song, Don't Let Your Sun Go Down on Me. Yeah, yeah. I was starting to watch that, but I was like, I mean, I, I got the call. <laughs> you, you missed what I said, but that's okay. I said, the dream on me? I said, don't let your sun go down on me. Oh, you're oh, I'm sorry. Don't let your son. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> no, I, I did. I missed that one. Yeah, see, I'm a lesbian. I just your son is never going down on me unless he wants to be bitch slapped. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
female nowadays. Huh? Okay. Yeah, actually, I was born a female, but the CIA decided when I came out of the womb with a voice like this that it would fuck most men up. So um, <laughs> they decided to do a new procedure called adedictomy. Ah, yeah. dude, one of the lucky few. I yeah. like that one. Yeah, it came with ball and chain. <laughs> Oh, shit. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm sorry. I couldn't resist. Oh, Come on up to the room, big boys. Good, All right. Be blessed. All You're right. awesome. Many blessings to be safe out there. You, much love. Thanks. Much love, brother. Yeah. I'll talk to you later. Yep. Bye. Good to see you. Bye.